In this video we show you how you can easily scan and digitize documents of your choice with the help of the Scan App Enterprise. The app is integrated on the eScan A280 as well as on the eScan A350 from Plastec. It offers the possibility to convert documents into an electronic format using individual job buttons in order to set up digital archiving. The job buttons are easy to create and configure depending on your needs. If you want to use multiple accounts, this is also possible as the Enterprise Scanning app is multi-user capable. In this video, the eScan A350 from Plastic is used. In order to use the Enterprise application on our scanner, the power supply is first required. Once this is available, we can connect the scanner to the internet and get started straight away. To create a job button, a local account must first be created. For the preview, four job buttons have been created for the video to present them and their functions. We can view and edit these in the configuration settings. We first look at the different connectors to get an overview. It is possible to choose between USB, Shareholder SMB CIFS, FTP, SFTP, FTPS, or between Mail through SMTP. We will look at each job button individually and explain the different parameters that have to be entered. With the Scan to USB job button, the scanned document is simply saved on a USB device of your choice. Let's move on to Scan to Email. By pressing the Edit icon, the job button can be configured. In the Scan settings, many different scan parameters can be adjusted. For example, we can set the Scan Mode, Quality or Format. If we want to make connector-specific settings, we press this symbol. Here we must first enter the recipient email that is to receive the scanned documents. Optionally, we can also set one or more email addresses in the CC. The subject and signature can also be set. The signature is then in the content of the email. Let's move on to the settings of the outgoing server. The address of this server is set here. The corresponding password must also be entered. Below this is the setting SMTP server which represents the intermediate server. We also find the associated security type which we can select. Last but not least the port number of the intermediate server and the attachment size limit must be entered. Let's go back to the home screen and start the scan process. We are now in the scan menu. Here the documents can be manipulated or edited afterwards. If we want to separate the documents, we simply press between them. This creates a separation whereby the files that belong together are marked in color. We can also rotate documents as we wish. In addition to other editing functions, Cropping is also provided if only a certain part of the document is needed for further processing. Once all subsequent edits have been made, we can click on Next. The outgoing server has sent the email to the specified recipient. If we look at our email account, we see that the email has arrived successfully with the settings we have made. When we open the email, we see the documents we have scanned and can view or download them depending on the email program. Now let's look at Scan to FTP. Here we have to click on the Edit symbol again to edit the settings of the connector. First, a server is selected in which our documents can be saved. The corresponding protocol and port must also be set. In our example, we use the server and client software FileZilla. Accordingly, the respective account must be specified with username and password. If a folder exists, it can be selected here. If necessary, a new folder can also be created. We now start the job button and wait until the documents have been successfully uploaded to the server. In order to access the documents, the server application, in our case FileZilla, must be started. 
On the right side, we see that the document has been successfully uploaded to the specified folder eScan. The document can be downloaded or moved directly to the desired folder. We now look at the last job button, Scan to SMB. Here the documents are transferred to the shared folder in our network. To do this, we first have to specify the client address. We can do this using our IP address or using the name of our device. In order for the scanner to access our network or computer, we have to enter the username and the corresponding password. If this has been done successfully, we can now select a shared folder without any problems. With the settings made, we start the transfer to the SMB folder. Let's go to the network where the folder is located. We have to select our device and then navigate to the folder we entered. Here we see the scanned files and can process them further, depending on our concerns. The Enterprise Scan app is also multi-user capable. We can switch between different accounts. We then see the job buttons linked to each account. Besides other settings such as version, language and updates, an integrated TeamViewer application can be found. Through this, a first-class customer support is offered where we help to solve your problems. In this video, you have seen how easy it is to create job buttons and transfer documents in different ways with the help of the ScanApp Enterprise. The ScanApp offers four different connectors. USB, Share Folder SMB, CIFS, FTP, SFTP, FTPS, or Mail through SMTP. These can be configured easily and efficiently and offer a wide range of customization options. For individual problems, the integrated TeamViewer app can be used to provide the user with excellent customer support. Thank you for your interest and attention. Please feel free to contact us by email at sales at plustech.com or visit our website www.plustech.com.